negotiations. We need to complete our agreements with the Marshallese, and uh, my hope is that we're going to uh, see our way through to enable them to sign on to this 20-year uh, compact that is critical to our national defense. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator Rono. Uh, Senator Rounds, please. Th thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Ms. Abercrombie, Ms. Abercrombie and uh, Mr. Chalet, first of all, thank you to both of you for your service to our country. Um, Mr. Chalet, we discussed the impact of auctioning off the 3.1 to 3.45 gigahertz band of the spectrum and the impact it would have on DOD capabilities when you were in my office briefly. Um, most importantly, we have now asked 22 separate uniformed officers in a row about their opinion as to whether or not that particular part of the spectrum should be sold or shared uh, with uh, commercial interests. Not one of them has been supportive of that uh, approach. In fact, the Navy stated that transitioning the systems operating on the lower band would cost over $260 billion. Additionally, the impact to Homeland Defense would be dramatic and span several decades. Based on your knowledge of this issue and the testimony of senior uniformed officers, what would be your advice to the Secretary of Defense on the auctioning of the 3.1 to 3.45 gigahertz portion of the spectrum? Thank you, Senator Rounds, and I really appreciate the time you gave me uh, the other day uh, speak in your office. Uh, your first, and also thank you for what you have been doing to champion this issue and, and make sure that we all understand the, the implications of the importance of these, this part of the spectrum. Based on everything I have heard, I would associate myself with the concerns that have been have expressed to this committee about the, the, the auctioning off and the importance of those, that part of the spectrum to our national security. And so I would advise the Secretary to tread very carefully here. Uh, and and an, I know that there's been a report done uh, that I have not yet had a chance to see. If confirmed, I would ask to see that on day one to better understand about how we can move forward on this, but I fully, fully appreciate the national security implications. Okay, and thank you. Uh, uh, let me just ask, and uh, Ms. Abercrombie, I've appreciated the discussions that we have had. I don't have a lot of questions for you today, but I do want to follow up, Mr. Chalet, with a couple of questions, specifically with regard to reports. Uh, I agree that that report needs to come out, and I think the more we share, you've indicated that you would be very open in sharing the information back and forth. You currently in, in the Department of State have the opportunities to share information as well. Um, you've already had a beginning discussion with regard to what happened in Afghanistan, and I don't think there's anybody that thinks that that was a perfect operation in any way, shape, or form. We were able to discuss briefly in, in our office the withdrawal from Afghanistan, and as I mentioned before, many of us still have unanswered questions about the sequence of events and decisions that were made over a period of time literally of months and days. As the State Department's counselor, do you commit to making the State Department's classified after action report in Afghanistan available to the members of this committee? Well, thank you, Senator, uh, for the question. And you're absolutely right. We need to have accountability and, and learn lessons from not just what happened in August of 2021, but the 20-year war that the United States fought with the, Afghanistan. The, the, I, the, I, look, I, look I, I'm going to run out of time, but this is important because you're moving into a position in the Department of Defense where you're going to be making policy recommendations. Part of that means sharing good information with members of this committee to either gain support or to literally revisit whether or not those recommendations are appropriate or not. Pretty straightforward as to whether or not, as the counselor for the Department of State, are you prepared in your current position to make that report available? I'm not asking you to declassify it, but it should be made available to members here so that we can see it. What's your opinion as a policymaker in your current position? Are you prepared to make that available to members of this committee? Senator, as you know, we the State Department has provided that report to the Oversight Committee, the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, as well as on the House side, and also published portions of that report uh, on the on the web, on the State Department website. I would commit to you to taking it back to my State Department colleagues and noting your desire That's to have that committee. And, and I, would you be prepared to take that back and to have the report back to us prior to a vote on your confirmation? 
Senator, it's not my decision on whether or not to share these reports, but I certainly will take back your question and, and advocate on behalf. I believe we should be as transparent as we can be. Do with you the believe Congress that that should this. be avail made available to this committee? It was members of the Department of Defense that actually were participating that day in Afghanistan when we lost 13 members. Uh, absolutely, and we I think every day about the 2,400 okay. lost and the, the 13 reason, lost at Abbey Gate. The reason, the reason why I ask it is, is this is a test. This is a test to find out whether or not in the future you would also work with us on getting the information that we need to either question the policy recommendations that you've made or to support those policies. I, I think this committee does a great job on a bipartisan basis, but we've got to be able to have the information to make those recommendations and learn the reasoning behind them. Do you understand the reason why I'm asking for that report to be made public and the reason why I think it's so important that you be in a position to comfortably be able to go back to the bosses and to say, we need to make these reports available so that they can either support or ask questions about the decisions that are made. Senator, I can commit to you that I will take that back to my State Department colleagues and make the case. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank, thank you, you, Senator Rounds. Senator Warren, please. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr.